4.30, the owner of a food truck that was stolen in Waikiki is thanking the community for its help in tracking it down. Surveillance video caught thieves towing the van from its lot four days ago. HPD says no arrests have been made, but are still investigating. Eddie Dow tracks where the trailer ended up. The owner of the missing trailer says he got a call from police on Tuesday at 3 p.m. saying his trailer had been found all the way on Oahu's North Shore. I'm really grateful and thankful to everybody in Hawaii right now. The stressful ordeal started last Friday. This security camera footage, timestamped at 4.30 a.m., capturing a Home Depot rental van hauling away a massive trailer valued at $150,000 from its Waikiki lot. H&N spoke with owner Mike Ha on Saturday. He had been renovating the trailer, hoping to start a new Korean food business. Still now, it's a 24th and we can't even find this. I don't know what to say. Police told Ha that the van used in the crime had GPS in it and that the woman who rented it from Home Depot returned it on Saturday, a day after the trailer was stolen. Ha says detectives were working on getting a warrant to obtain Home Depot's data. But in the meantime, Ha went public with the story here on Hawaii News Now, and it was widely shared on social media. That's when people began emailing him tips. Policemen just told me they found the truck, my trailer, and I asked them, how's my trailer looks? But only thing the policeman told me was, oh, the tire is intact. The stolen trailer had been taken from its lot in Waikiki all the way to Laie, where it was abandoned on somebody's property. Ha says police told him the person who lives there was approached by people asking to hold the trailer for a few days in exchange for a couple hundred dollars. That person apparently didn't know it was stolen until they saw H&N story and called police. I was shocked that they were dumb enough to try and steal uh, a large uh, item of this size. The trailer is now back at its slot in Waikiki. Ha took us inside and showed us almost everything was intact. Nothing was in, in touched except for some electrical wire and some bumps and bruises on the outside. Are you surprised? I'm very, very surprised. Uh, I, I thought it would be stripped down. Ha says he's not taking any more chances. This lock now going on the hitch of his trailer. And the owner says there is a lot of catching up work to do to get his trailer ready for the public, but he hopes to open for the 4th of July and will be serving Korean street food. Reporting in Waikiki, Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now. Thank you.